it is guys it's boy blastmas hd foster homes oh boy now i literally have so much stuff that's happened to me in like foster homes and stuff that i can't fit it all into one video now in some of my stories you guys might remember me talking about the fact that when i was growing up my parents was on drugs you know what i mean and most of the time that my parents was on drugs wasn't really that big of a deal the utilities were usually off and we never could have money in the house so my parents was on drugs a lot of the time while i was growing up and at one point in time uh my parent most of the time was on drugs like it was a it was a little it was a little worse than rough yeah i mean we're gonna call the drug of choice that my guardian was on for a good amount of my childhood crank i know it's crack but i i, I don't know i just don't like saying that word i i just don't it's something that i've kept private for most of the time but it's kind of important for this story so at one point in time we were living in this apartment and it was me and my brothers my sister and we're all living in this apartment and we were used to our guardian being gone for like uh like days at a time doing what they were doing just gone on a binge you know what i mean we would be left to like fend for ourselves it wasn't really that big of a deal i just remember us eating a lot of buttered toast at that time and ramen noodles like that's really all we had to eat so at one point in time we kind of ran out of food and this dude that my guardian knew would come over and give us just food i remember one time he brought over a bunch of kfc chicken just a bunch of food really really nice dude with that being said i don't know who like snitched on us but at some point someone found out that like we were like four kids who were really 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 young like my sister was like 13 she was the oldest of us at the time she was the one cooking all the food and taking care of us and whatnot again somebody decided to pull a takashi 69 on us and snitched us out and told the police that we were basically four underage kids all living in this one apartment with no food i distinctly remember the day that the police all came to get us and round us up and put us in this foster home what's really funny is it's, it's kind of cool remembering all of these memories because it's been so long since i've legitimately thought about them i remember when the police knocked on the door literally like 10 officers came in there and they grabbed us up you know and our guardian came back police sirens everywhere it looked like something out of a movie it was all the way bad and i just remember seeing her crying as they're taking us away into custody now i remember exactly where they took us i don't remember the name of the place but like the place they took us i i don't think i ever had so much fun as a kid back then instead of just taking you into a foster home straight up they took us to this huge building where i guess they just kept all of the kids who were either orphaned or didn't have a place to stay they just kept us all in this one huge compound it was like three to five hundred kids all living in this huge compound like they would feed us three times a day and remember we were coming from you know what i mean drug infested areas you know what i mean like only eating like once a day if we were lucky to going to a place where not only did we get fed three meals a day but we had bunk beds there was a bunch of kids to play with they had literally playgrounds at this compound like it was freaking awesome i remember every night at eight o'clock they would round us all up i think it was like groups of maybe 20 at a time in different rooms and they would all have us sit there and watch movies and the movies they had us watch were freaking awesome i'm talking fern gully i'm talking land before time i'm talking fantasia like i remember distinctly falling in love with fern gully while, while at this place you know i know a lot of people out there they'd be like oh my god that's awful that's terrifying but i had so much fun at this place like it and it was such a freaking step in the right direction from you know living in an apartment eating buttered toast once a day maybe sometimes twice if we could find the food yeah you know i mean big ups to my big sister for that you know what i mean because she she took 
care of us like a month. You know what I mean? I know a lot of you guys have probably heard like a lot of horror stories about foster care. You know what I mean? And I will sit I will tell you, uh, 95% of it is true. Me, I've always been the type of person that turns shit to sugar. Like bad situations, they only really make me stronger legitimately. Like that's why I've always flourished in life, especially emotionally. With that being said, man, living in Miss Reed's place turned me into African American Thanos. Like, it was so much, so much shit that we had to deal with at this lady's house. Oh my god, she was just so emotionally unstable, man. Now that I think about it as an adult, I can look back and understand why. I mean, conventionally in the looks department, chick was busted like just a complete dumpster fire it was all the way bad man the chick was like 400 pounds man she literally looked like martin lawrence did after he dressed up in drag for big mama's house i'm not even joking chick had like three chins she had short hair her eyes were really bulgy chick was just super duper 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 masculine which probably was the reason why she never had a man she never had a man okay you know what i'm lying she had a man for like we was there for like a year and a half and she had a man i think for like the last three months we were there you know i don't mean to bag on baby girl for her looks or nothing but all i'm gonna say it is if you looking for a man and you single she could have at least shaved her mustache it was so thick but we couldn't say nothing about that things i didn't like about miss reed bruh she forced us to go to church every day every day bruh on days where we didn't have to go to church because she either had to work more or you know what i mean something else happened to something bruh that shit was like my birthday for me i don't like going to church and this was probably the thing that made me not go to this day i won't set foot in a church i won't go i don't want to hear the tbn channel which i'm pretty sure is, is the church network i don't i know a lot of people out there they love religion and religion is a good thing it's a beautiful thing it gives people hope and and love and people come together and they're nice and stuff and and everybody's having sex with everyone's wives like it's a great situation to be in you know what i mean like pastor getting a, a rose royce everyone else getting broke it's a great thing but as an 11 year old i didn't want to go to church i don't care about none of this stuff these people talking about i don't give a shit i'm trying to play with legos bitch all i know as an 11 year old with adhd is I'm bored. This is boring. The worst part about church for me was the beatings. And you may think you heard that wrong, but no, you heard that right. The chick would beat the living shit out of us if we didn't want to go to church. If we said anything about not wanting to be there, if bruh, if we went to sleep, people don't understand, bruh. You know what I mean? ADHD. I have a shit ton of energy. I look at it as a as an extreme positive now because I have more energy than a hundred people put together. And whenever I actually have a goal to go towards, I mark it because I have way more energy to put towards that but if i get bored i go to sleep immediately ask my female friends ask, ask shara if i'm ever in the passenger seat of a car regardless of how fast we're going or, or how short the trip is i'm sleep immediately the minute i put my seatbelt on every single freaking time what, what say, say it again every time if i'm ever sitting down at a social security office i'm going to sleep i almost turned up on the people at the bank the other day because they was taking too long because i was getting sleepy waiting in line i gotta move around baby bruh and church was four hours long god damn what you got to talk about for four hours so it being four hours I would start dozing off. And if I would start to go to sleep, bruh, she would look at me with those beady eyes and she would open them all the way wide up it would scare the hell out of me. And she would let me know, boy, you work the fuck up, I would, don't you disrespect the Lord. I will fuck you up when we get home, boy. Don't you, man, you better wake up. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm so, bruh, I'm trying to fight the sleepiness and stuff because I don't want to get beaten when we get home. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, man, bless me, HD. Well, getting the whipping with a belt ain't that bad. It wouldn't have been, except it was a paddle, though. 
I know a lot of you guys out there probably don't know what a paddler is because you know, you didn't get the shit kicked out of you as a child, but a paddle is basically a huge bat, except it's thick and flat. Bruh, she drilled holes in it to make it aerodynamic enough for us to hit us harder. For every time we went to sleep or didn't pay attention to the, to the, to the, to the bullshit that whatever the guy on the stage was saying, we would get like two or three lashes. My brother would get one and I would get two. That's why I still don't do good with authority till this day. She would take us home and literally have us bend over backwards over the lower bed on the bunk bed and then while the other kids would watch because you know there was more of them she had a niece because her being a, a, a eight-year-old kid she would you know not want to sit down and listen to some shit she didn't care about for four hours either so she would be getting paddled with us it would be miss reed's niece me and my brother i was always freaking first this chick would swing for the fences when she would go to paddle us literally you would think this chick had trained for world league of baseball how hard and fast she could swing that paddle at the back of our asses so i'm gonna name you guys the three reasons that miss reed would beat us for yeah you know i'm saying one it wasn't respecting the lord yeah you know i mean hallelujah <laughs> It was, you know, <laughs> she would paddle us for not respecting the Lord in his house, a.k.a. And again, I love religion. I, my mom loves to go to church. I, it's awesome. I've gone sometimes for the women. But you know what I mean? Like, I, the thing that's weird to me is I don't understand what she thought that that would do. The one thing I did realize from church is that if I had been born back in slavery times, I would have been the most rebellious runaway slave ever. You beat me, I'm just gonna rebel harder, yo. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't gonna beat me down. That's not how I work. I just get stronger and worse. So with that being said, bruh, every time we went to church, I would get hit at least 10 times when we got home. Every single freaking time. I guess she was trying to impress her friends and we wasn't submissive enough so she would just try to beat it into us. Number two, we didn't love her mom. I could understand if we would literally say horrible things about her mom or if we was mean to her or disrespected her or something like that i can understand because your mom is your mom i can understand but for the love of god i remember the worst beating i ever got from this woman was because her mom drove up and i sucked my teeth like i was like Ugh. miss reed took me in the house immediately and beat the living shit out of me i don't remember there being blood actually there might have been but like it was bad this woman went straight up hulk smash on my ass you know what i mean it was that freaking bad i'm just like yo like i have to love your mom that's not my mom ho and a lot of you guys would be like oh man that's messed up that you know what i mean you would do that to her mom bruh i'm gonna tell y'all why i didn't like her mom oh my god bruh mm. another time i remember her beating the crap out of us was one day we was hungry it's not that she wasn't feeding us a lot it was just that i'm greedy i always have been i still am i enjoy excess people i'ma eat everything if i got the chance and if i ain't got the chance i'ma go find somewhere else to eat everything at one day yeah you know i mean me and my brother we was hungry as shit we went down the street to the candy lady's house because in that neighborhood there was this caucasian chick down the street super duper cool lady we would go over there man and we would buy root beer floats oh my god God, my mouth is watering about the root beer floats. Man, if I didn't have the screaming squirts due to my lactose intolerance, I'd be eating one right now. Matter of fact, I might eat one today. I just stay close to the toilet. <laughs> oh. Ice cream make me shit so hard, I gotta flush three separate times because it's so much of it. Bruh, so we went to this lady's house, man, and we used our allowance because she gave us an allowance. That's one thing I will say. She gave us an allowance. She helped teach us a little bit of responsibility because she would have us do chores. And if we didn't do them, she would not give us allowance and or just beat us. So, you know what I mean? We kind of had to do 
the chores, but it, it got us money. So we went down to the candy lady's house and we spent some of our allowance on getting these nachos, bro. She made us these delicious ass nachos. It was like a dollar fifty, and it was so much. The candy lady was a godsend. Oh my god, I love that lady. So we got the nachos, man. We bought some candy. We bought some food by the foot, and we're walking down the street eating these nachos. And I guess Miss Reed had come home early or something like that, cause her car pulls up on the side of us. She rolls down the window. She yells at us, "Oh, so I ain't feeding y'all." Huh? So you about to have my neighbors thinking I'm starving, y'all? Huh? Get your ass to the house, poor. I'm about to fuck y'all up. You get back to that house. You embarrassing me out here in these streets. I'm like, yo, what you talking about? This is the fuck you mean, yo? This is I just wanted some nachos. Like, what did I do? Bro, we got home, bro. She kicked the shit out of me with that paddle, man. I just... Bruh, I just But when we disrespected her mom, and I'm using the bunny ears when I say that, she beat me for about a good 45 minutes, no cap. Just, 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 just the whole time. Huh? You wanna embarrass me? I love the whole time screaming at me. Like, I don't, bro, this feet, this lady was so emotionally imbalanced, yo. I knew it was bad because she was crying and screaming the whole time she kicked the shit out of me. I'm not even joking, yo. Oh, see, I love my mama. I love my mama. Bah, bah, bah. I love my mama. You gonna disrespect my mama. Like, yo. I just kinda did a bit of a disappointing sound effect when she got here. I didn't tell her I didn't like her to her face. Man, I didn't tell her that she needs to, to shave that welcome home carpet she's got above her upper lip. I didn't do none of that, man. You like, I, I just, I didn't tell her that she was built like an unattractive lunch lady. Like, I didn't tell her none of that. I still, to this day, I don't understand what her problem was, man. I don't, under I don't understand it. I just don't. I was, I was 11. I know a lot of you guys probably be like, well, that was her mom. You know what I mean? Like, why would you disrespect her mom and give off a disappointing sound effect when she showed up? Like, we were outside waiting on her mom, and her mom pulled up, and I was like, ugh. I hated her mom so much. Like, I would have never did bodily harm to her, but I really, 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 really did not like her mom. I didn't. And this is why. This is the situation. That man, that woman tried to get me killed in these streets. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh man, she couldn't have been that bad. You over exaggerating. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bruh. Okay, so look, so Miss Reed, I think she was a registered nurse. She had to wake us up at like three o'clock in the morning and she had to be at work at five. I still remember this. Wake us up at 3.30 every morning. She would pack our lunch and she would take us over either over her friend's house or her mom's house. So on days we had to go to school, she would take us over her light-skinned female friend's house and that place was literally like Six Flags Magic Mountain to me. Cause oh my God, bruh. This was, I have to do a whole separate story time about this place because I had so much fun there her friend was so freaking nice and she was such a wonderful woman and it's not that she gave us stuff or whatever she just didn't kick the shit out of us or be evil or mean to us that was literally the thing that made us love this woman because being at miss reed's house or miss reed's mom's house was so awful that being over at this lady's house was great and it's really, really funny now, because now that I'm an adult, I realize that Miss Reed just really needed some dick. She just really, really needed some dick. Nobody was willing to take one for the team, bruh. Nah, I really, hell no, Ugh. hell no, bruh. Oh, but this, this female, bro, she was built like a linebacker. Ugh. The only thing on her that was thicker than her thighs and neck meat was her mustache. Like, I'm just saying, I, I can't do nothing with that. What I'm gonna do with that? Our last four months of us living there, when she finally got like this dude to start dating her, like, you know, giving her back shots on the regular, she was the nicest person in the world. She was so nice. She was so, bro, she went to Renaissance Center 
and bunk, because we our rooms were usually completely bucket naked, like nothing but bunk bed in there and a dresser. But when she started getting D down on the regular, she went and to rent a center and rented us a PlayStation with Tekken 3 and Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon and and she she got us more furniture. She like tripled our allowance. She started actually buying us clothes. You know what I'm saying? One of the reasons why I didn't like Miss Reed is because she would have me going to the most ratchet school, wearing some of the whitest crap. I remember at that school, you had to line up at the door in the morning. They wouldn't open up the door, like the front doors of the whole school. And it was literally like a thousand kids lined up at this door, like just piled against this door, waiting for them to open it up so they could let us in so we could start going to our classes. Bruh, she dressed me in this piston shirt and it was so traumatizing that I still remember it like it was literally yesterday. She put me in this piston shirt that was so tight that even though I didn't work out, veins was popping out of my arms. It was literally that tight. And I don't know if you guys know this, but going to an all black ratchet school and wearing tight clothing, it wasn't a good look. This is way before the new boys made skinny jeans popular. This is way before wearing anything skinny in the black hood communities was a good thing. Like you was just seen as the biggest loser. So bruh, I'm lined up because I didn't know that this was that bad. I'm lined up, I'm wearing my jeans is super duper tight because she got all our clothes from the Goodwill. This chick was getting $600 a piece from me and my brother. And she would take us to Goodwill and buy us $3 jeans and $5 pair of shoes and just, just, just the cheapest in the world. When I showed up on the first day of school, bro, you would have thought that I was Kevin Hart doing his Laugh Out Loud tour in front of 50,000 people at a stadium and just killing it with the stand-up as much as these kids was laughing at me to my face. And I don't know if you guys know, but hood children are ruthless. Ruthless! Little niggas was laughing at me. What's awful about hood kids in the schools is they wouldn't just laugh at you. They would go get their friends and bring them to laugh at you too. So I've got literally 20, 40, 50 kids going grabbing their friends to get them to come point and laugh. Next thing you know, I literally got over a thousand kids all laughing at me. Every single one. You know how traumatizing that is? Bruh, talk about starting at a disadvantage. I never got looked at in a positive way by a dude or a female in that whole school for the two years that I went. Oh my God. It was it was all the way rough. But back to why I didn't like Miss Reed's mom. I remember this situation. There was a ton of things. She was over opinionated, super masculine. Of course, wasn't getting deed up or down because, you know, their mustaches were so thick. You would think that they tied white women to train tracks and waited for Dudley Do-Right to come and save the hoe. You know what I mean? That's how thick, like they could pull it to the side, curl it around, and do the evil laugh. <laughs> like that was how bad the mustache was. Like it was, it was awful. And the mom really didn't care. She just let it up there, but would stay mad because, you know, no one wanted it. So again, on the days we had to go to school, we would go to Miss Reed's friend's house, which was the happiest place on earth, AKA Disney. Disneyland to me. I, it was so beautiful. The lady was so nice. She would give us cereal and milk and be polite and nice to us and just let us go outside and play until Miss Reed came to pick us up. Like, oh my God, I love that lady. Big ups to you. I love you with every fiber of my being. You are the coolest mother and or lady in the world because she had her own kids, which we used to play with, which was one of the greatest things about going over there. We had other people to play with. But on days that we did didn't have to go to school, which was basically the weekend or any days, you know, we was off from school. We had to go over her mom's house for her to watch us. And this lady, she, she didn't hit us a lot. <laughs> I remember slapping us in the face a, a couple times, you know, but it was like you slap a man just hard, just blah, you know what I mean, for stupid crap. But I feel like she literally did not want us to live. The situation that let me know that that was the case was when we was over Miss Reed's mom's house, the neighborhood was insanely ratchet. 
super duper poor low income neighborhood but it was a neighborhood of houses there was a couple of people that was at miss reed's house uh i think i think it was miss reed's brother who his name was uncle willie we called him uncle willie he was real cool he used to always tell me stories about the threesomes that he had when he was younger which was you know a tad bit creepy given how much into detail he went about the situations but he never did anything creepy towards us so it was you know it was cool me i've always been an outgoing person so i was always looking for people in the neighborhood to hang out with and of course me being the gamer that i am i found the one dude in the neighborhood that had video games in his crib which was only a super nintendo and i would go over his house and play video games i was 11 he was like 13 and we used to play a bunch of super nintendo video games i was over there one day and i don't know what i did to piss him off but he got like fighting mad at me but like he wasn't willing to fight me i don't know why maybe i was still intimidating as a kid i don't know what it was but he wasn't willing to you know fight me one-on-one -on -one. but he got so mad that he started throwing shit in the room we were playing the video games in so, you know, I just got up and left. I'm like, bro, you tripping, bro. It ain't that serious. I'm out. He like, this seems like a dangerous situation. I've got to go. So I left and I went back to Mrs. Reed's mom's house, which is where we were staying. So I'm sitting on the stoop and I see the 13 year old dude, because I forgot his name. See the 13 year old dude marching down the street with a whole army of ratchet yelling screaming women like i'm not even over exaggerating it was at least 15 to 20 yelling screaming women bro just to give you a taste of how awfully ratchet this whole mob of women was at least four of them were pregnant and i don't mean one or two month I'm talking eight, nine months pregnant, third trimester type shit. But the women that were pregnant had not had a knife on them. All the other females was either his cousins or his sisters. Bruh, his mom came with him. Like, what? Oh my God, bro, so I see this, cause they come to jump me. I'm not stupid, I've been jumped plenty of times before. Again, I've gone to nothing but hood schools and hood neighborhoods, so I knew what the body language of these people was. It was terribly negative, I didn't want none of it. So I do what a real one would do in the situation. I get up and take my anus into the house. Tell me why when I get into the house, Miss Reed's mom goes outside, sees the, the mob of weapon-wielding women, all led by the 13-year-old dude who's like on the top two steps he's like yo have him come outside man don't come outside and fight me come outside and fight me blah, 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 blah. and the chicks in the back they've all got weapons and freaking knives and two by fours and shit shit look like a legitimate freaking lynch mob like it looked like they were gonna take me out the game like bruh like only thing they was missing was pitchforks and, and torches miss reed's mom talks to him for like four or five minutes so i'm thinking oh yeah you know she's gonna calm him down you know she's gonna let him know it's not that serious or maybe even she called the police like that's what's up so she comes back in the house and i'm like that's awesome like what happened i ask her what happened and she's like boy you better not bring this shit to my house i don't care what you, you better go get you better go deal with that and i'm like that's a mob of 20 weapon wielding people these are the, the, the women were adults the women were adults it looked like this dude that basically went to an extremely hooded out baby shower found all the occupants and told them yo we about to go ride on this fool like was handing them weapons as they was walking out the door and shit it one for you and one for you and oh yeah you pregnant here take a knife you never know take a knife here you go and here one for you here's a two by four for you and here's a here's a knife for you here's a brick for you how many months pregnant you is nine and a half oh here you go two by four with a nail in it you need to protect you and your child when we're going to jump this guy violence i'm like yo i'm not going out there bruh this woman grabs me by my hands and feet and drags me outside and gives me to these people. She literally gave me to this mob of weapon wielding and yelling and screaming ratchet violent freaking females and this 13 year old dude. They brought knives and bricks and two by fours. What you think they gonna do? You think they wanna talk? 
Bruh! She literally drags me off the stairs and throws me to these people. They then proceed to beat my ass and drag me across the street. Some of y'all might not know this about me. I am like a violent pacifist. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'm super duper non-violent until someone gets violent at me. That's how I am now. You gotta either put your hands on me or put your hands on someone that I care about or be really disrespectful to a girl that, I, you know what I mean, I'm real cool with or something like right in front of me and then that's what's up, like we can go hands. I'm not mad at it, I'm with it, let's get it. But back then, I was super duper non-violent back then and I didn't wanna fight. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but that's one of the first things you learn living in the hood is the best way to get jumped and beat up and killed and stabbed and all of that is to not want, is to not be willing to fight, is to not want any violence. You just get messed up way worse because they ain't beating you because you deserve it. They beating you because they're trying to prove to other people that they with the shits. I wasn't with the shits at the time. I didn't want to fight. I just want to play video games and hang out. And, and you know what I mean? Like hang around cock tees and chicks that was throwing it but was acting like they was throwing it yeah i mean i just i just wanted to do me and 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 possibly some of the females in the neighborhood yeah you know i mean like i i just, I just want to have fun you know what i'm saying so they dragged me across the street the whole time kicking the garbage out of me into this empty field just it looked like a baseball field it wasn't super duper big it, it was basically like no one had built the house there yet it was that side it was a pretty big dirt lot literally all of them dog powered me all i remember doing is just curling up into a ball and covering my face and head all i remember is feet two by fours bricks and knives now luckily enough for me i only got stabbed twice but the two by fours and the feet was messing me up yo i'm just getting the shit kicked out of me and the mom is on the goddamn stoop watching this the whole time you just gonna let me die bitch i still don't wish no harm on that woman yo but if i saw her at a bus stop homeless and destitute i would drive by in my extremely nice car i would roll down my window look at her make eye contact with her and then roll my window up and drive off like you you get nothing from me lady like i don't understand i can understand if you're forcing me to like sh like fight one on one with this dude i can understand that i'll take my lumps like a man you know what i mean like if i gotta get lumped up i ain't mad at that let's shoot the fair one that's cool but yo like 20 females with bats knives and bricks and 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 like and you just gonna sit there and watch like yo she literally pulled out a lawn chair and sat on it and just watched didn't call the police didn't call miss reed didn't call for any type of help bro if it wasn't for uncle willie coming outside because he heard all the commotion and then seeing what's going down he ran over there and freaking started yanking the females off of me i've been stabbed once in the stomach and once in the back i've been beaten freaking with two by fours and bricks because these are ratchet angry women and willie's a big dude willie was a big dude yeah you know i mean he wasn't real yoked up but you had a bit of a pop billy but he was kind of like gucci mane muscle but had a little bit of a beer belly on him you know what i'm saying but he was with the shits and he had my back he comes over there he he starts ripping women off of me and when the women turn around and they see you know big willie standing there no homo that they just like he squares up with the females yeah you know i mean if you guys don't know anything about fighting a mob of people which you know unfortunately i had to learn this from trial and error of getting jumped so many freaking times like when you facing the mob, they're gonna jump at you basically like a pack of dogs. So these females is standing there and they got the, the knives and the freaking bats and the freaking the, the two by fours and the, and the freaking bricks and they're like jumping at them like they're about to do some shit. Willie, he ain't back down. So none of the females had the balls to be the first person to get punched in the mouth because Willie was gonna do that. You know what I mean? Thank God for beating bitches. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, they, they, yo, like, he, that's real. So Willie was like, yo, what y'all dogpiling and jumping and beating this, this boy with weapons for, yo? Y'all is 21 people. If the 13 year old dude got a problem with the 11 year old Lil Maurice, then let him fight that up. Let him fight that out. Let him 1v1 that. So he cleared the crowd. 
all the females out of respect for him because they didn't want no problems they just crowded around like a regular schoolyard fight and you know what i mean they let me and the dude go head to head which was a problem for him now i was already mad because i had been stabbed you know what i mean i've been beaten with bricks and bats and two by fours i was pissed you know what i'm saying and i don't really remember what i looked like or was like when i was younger but i'm just gonna say this I think that dude brought all of them women there for a reason. He didn't want to fight 1v1. So when he was forced to fight 1v1, he kind of backed down a little bit. And see, again, I used to be a pacifist. I didn't want to fight. I was a super duper nice person. But I already been stabbed and beaten with two by fours and breaks. I ain't care about none of that tranquility bullshit. Bruh, homie walked up and tried to talk like, yo, man, my bad. I punched that nigga straight in his mouth. Bop, 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 bop. Gave him the hands and then got jumped again because I started winning the fight. So Willie jump in and start pulling females off me again and one of the females smashed him in the face with a brick. So Willie, he got blood running down one side of his face. Apparently after Willie got hit in the face with a brick, now it's time to come and, and ride and help. So then the mom, the, the Miss Reed's mom comes off the porch. Oh, don't you hit, why don't you hit me? Don't you hit my boy? And then all of the other family members come out the house and now it's a Royal, royal Rumble. You know what I mean? Except it didn't really get to throwing money blows because apparently his whole family was bitch made. They backed off and went back home when the fight happened and then the dude came back and apologized to me later on. Oh. So yeah. I hated Miss Reed's mom, you know what I mean? And yeah, I didn't want her around me. Whenever I had to go over there, I didn't like it. And whenever she came over to Miss Reed's house and I had to be in her presence, I didn't like it. You know what I mean? I told Miss Reed, she ain't do nothing. She ain't even care. Well, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have started nothing. Well, now you been, all she did was restrict me from going outside. Now I gotta stay in the house with, with Miss Reed's mom, which I did not do. You know what I mean? I feel you know, like I just stayed away from that dude. I wasn't cool with him no more. Bruh. I remember another time she beat the crap out of me was because I asked for nicer clothes because I was tired of getting made fun of at school. She kicked the crap out of me one time. We was we was in her car. I'm in the passenger seat. She's driving like Dom from Fast and Furious. And we're freaking doing 100 in a 45 and swerving and shit. And I ain't gonna lie, yo, I was scared. So when she started driving like that, I reached over and put on my seatbelt and she looked over, oh, what you trying to say, huh? You saying I drive crazy, huh? Oh, you gonna disrespect me? You gonna disrespect me? And punch me in my mouth, bah, right there. When I got home, whoop my ass again with the paddle. I know a lot of y'all are probably like, bruh, like what? Like that's traumatized, bruh, like honestly, and even then, you know what I mean? I look at all of those, all of these situations as good things. You know what I mean? Because they did nothing but make me stronger. They made me the person I am. You know what I'm saying? I still have had people try to jump me and it didn't go good because I've got so much experience from when I was younger. Three of my own viewers jumped me at the skating rink because again, I am a really, 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 really nice person. But if someone runs up on me, I ain't got no problem beating somebody to the point where where they they gonna wake up later you know what i mean like you know again so you know i've had a lot of people like start fights with me and then when i beat them up they like what's wrong with you man why did why are you so violent and you know what i mean now you guys know bro i still am a pacifist mostly you know what i'm saying and i feel no remorse because i've had so many of these type of situations happen to me because i remember on a dna level what happens to me when i try to just like peaceful my way out of it well, yo i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know what i mean if you guys want to hear some more of my crazy stories and stuff i'm gonna put a link in the description down below it's gonna lead to my over a hundred of these type of stories i've told on my gaming channel already i've never told this story to y'all before honestly because like you know i just started writing down subjects to like you know tell y'all about hello 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 what are you doing today that is good May I ask what is for your call? I'm sorry, go ahead. Thank you, come again. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I, I was talking to my friend. They are not here. Keep going, please. <laughs> Fucking scam callers. Bruh, I'ma hella animate that in. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, so if you guys didn't hear my phone just ringing, man, I just got one of those scam calls where he's trying to sell, calling me to try to sell me some crap that I didn't ever tell them I wanted. I just pick a different accent and start messing with him. That one was a poo from The Simpsons. I didn't get to go ham on him like I wanted to. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm up in here working, doing these videos, and you gonna call me to sell me some bullshit. Like, yeah, you know I mean, I'm playing with you. They always get mad and hang up like you're wasting their time. <laughs> Bruh, I love it. But uh, but yeah, you know what I mean? I hope y'all enjoyed the story. It's your boy Blast from Sage D. You know what I mean? Make sure to smash the like button. If we reach seven likes in about a week and a half, these animations take time, so probably like, you know, like two weeks. You know what I mean? I'm a, uh, so this is gonna be a reoccurring thing. I'm gonna try to get out two of these videos a month. You know what I mean? It might be one, cause I, I'm gonna make these really high quality. Now, for y'all viewing pleasures, you know what I'm saying? I done went on and made like a real quick little makeshift type of parody song for y'all to further describe my experiences with the paddling and the beating uh, of the back of me. I went on to put this together like hella quick. It was literally like 10, 15 minutes. He put it together on the computer real fast and stuff. So it's not gonna sound the way I usually like for stuff to sound, but I figured y'all would appreciate a little bit of extraness, you know what I mean, with the story. Give me like a couple of months, and I'ma get this mug, like this whole thing animated, and I'ma go and redo the song, and actually like, you know what I mean, do it at a studio, so it sound good and stuff. And I'm gonna get that all animated for y'all. You know what I mean? Cause I know that, that that's what y'all will want for me to do to y'all. Again, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping at least a video a week. Cause I got a ton of stories I ain't never tell y'all. Like, a lot of them. Also make sure to keep a lookout on the uh, voiceover dub parody song I'm doing on The Last of Us 2. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure to go ahead and have that for y'all uh, uh, basically maybe like two, three days after the game drops. But it's gonna be a song, but the whole voiceover dub gonna come later. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Twisms and, uh, and enjoy. Soda. The Lord is what she beat us over To keep it real, I think she mad no man would bend her over If we ain't praise the Lord, then she gets ecstatic She's as crazy as she is unattractive Look it, shut the fuck up Either catch the Holy Ghost or you get beat the fuck up And if I ever act the snippy, she gon' rough my ass up Face down, back up, she gon' tear my ass up BTSD up in this bitch Won't go to church because I'm scared of getting whipped If you ask me, I call that trick the wicked witch she needs some pain because her attitude is stiff, little bitch. Every day after church, she was smacked at. One time she paddled me so hard, she straight cracked it. When it comes to the belt, she stay active. But never paddled us when she was getting fat dick. Look it, shut the fuck up. Either start praying or get beat the fuck up. Ayy, look it, shut the fuck up. Either start praying or get beat the fuck up. Ayy, don't run cause you know I ain't that fast. But when I catch you, break my feet up in your ass Don't know why you mad, swear my mama love you Like that time she helped that violent mouth to jump you Want me to buy you clothes and some cool shoes But dirty shirts from Goodwill's what I get you You're not responsible, that money you can handle So I spent your check on slot machines to gamble Kid express your opinion, I'ma smack that Put this paddle to your ass right on your mattress When it comes to the Lord, I'm straight fat shit but never paddled us when she was getting fat dick Lil kid, shut the fuck up Either start praying or get beat the fuck up Ayy, lil kid, shut the fuck up Either start praying or get beat the fuck up Ayy, only elderly old dudes would sex her Stretch marks on her neck by her chin fat She yells so much 
watching one month that he next her Surprised he even found the hole to get in that She hate a kid that the Lord don't impress When it come to the church you better die ho When I ask church is fun you better lie ho Put my allowance in the plate I better die bro Seven digit figure with the big hips on me Benches yelling don't you put this big bitch on me Bitch sit on your face you gon die fast Look at the size of her waist I'm not gon try that when it comes to the Lord, I'm straight bat shit. But never paddled us when she was getting fat dick. Look here, shut the fuck up. Either start praying or get beat the fuck up. Hey, look here, shut the fuck up. Either start praying or get beat the fuck up. Hey. But yeah, Twisms. And uh